Now on to part two, which is basically basically history and politics and what the mainstream calls revisionist history. Whether or not you believe it's a negative thing or not, I believe all history has been rewritten for their purposes. And uh, there's a saying, those who know uh, own history um, uh, own you. Uh, something that, to that effect. We're going to cover some U.S. and world history, uh, the Hegelian dialectic again, and intelligence. And moving on to George Washington. Look at this image. It's riddled with uh, occult symbolism, and there are the two pillars of Freemason. He is the most famous Freemason, I believe, uh, that ever lived. And so Washington, as a Freemason, and they've really uh, adorned him this way. It was my intention, uh, it was not my intention to doubt that the doctrines of the Illuminati and the principles of Jacobinism had not spread in the United States. On the contrary, no one is more fully satisfied of this fact than I am. Uh, meaning he was fully aware that the Illuminati had spread to the United States. Uh, in fact, I believe he is part of the Illuminati and Freemasonry. And because Freema uh, Illum the Illuminati um, infiltrated Free Freemasonry, Freemasonry is the mystery religions. They were one and the same to begin with. Um, so uh, we have also here, oh, interesting to note, uh, you saw the Baphomet here with the uh, coming on to the women. This how I interpret this is the sons of God, the angelic being, coming on to the daughters of men. She has no wings here. Uh, also, I think the significance of red uh, is there. Uh, as uh, I, I don't know the significance uh, exactly, but I believe that there is a significance of red. I believe also there's a significance of this broken pillar. You see this in other depictions. Uh, uh, like breaking the law. And in the, according to the Bible, the angels that left their first estate that, that did this are actually in chains and are bound uh, because they did this act that was against the law. So I believe that this uh, depiction uh, is representing that. Now we have uh, uh, Washington laying the foundation stone for the Capitol building. Uh, this is his apron. And you can see that is clearly Masonic. They are reenacting this uh, in com commemoration of that event that Washington did. Here is the Capitol, uh, inside the Capitol prayer room. He is kneeling, and what is he kneeling to other than, uh, none other than Egyptian pyramid with the eye of Lucifer. And this is not a Christian symbol. I cannot believe that Christians cannot see this at all. It's hidden in plain sight. It is unbelievable to me uh, that we can be so deceived this way. Here is uh, Washington. Here is that single pillar statue uh, within the, uh, I think that's the Washington Masonic Memorial. Underneath the Capitol Dome, this is key here. 72 pentagrams adorn this painting which is called the apotheosis of washington and uh, apotheosis means the attainment of godhood so he is here now as a god he is showing you as above so below uh, this is now uh, also a sword but he it's in that pose of the baphomet there are virgins around him there are all these pagan gods around this is athena i believe neptune and Vulcan. I don't know all of them uh, and how they're depicted, but 72 stars or 72 pentagrams also refer to the 72 demons, spirits in the Kabbalah. And so you see here in the middle, IHS, which is the Jesuit logo. And so in the Jesuit logo itself, you also see these straight and crooked uh, rays. And though, so there are 72 and they like to call them names of God, uh, but in this case, uh, I've come to understand that they are the demon spirits in the Kabbalah, and we have now an example of the 72 in the Imagine uh, Memorial for John Lennon, and there are 72 black and white, uh, 30, 36 each, with this Masonic checkerboard around this. You can read all about the Kabbalah and the founding of the United States, 
and that uh, Mr. Religion itself, Jewish mysticism it's called. There was a uh, big news in this Leonardo da Vinci portrait of Mona Lisa where they found the number 72 in the eye. So there is a significant number, uh, 72, uh, in Bora Badur in architecture uh, in Southeast Asia. There are 72 Buddhas around this. So a significant number. I don't know the full uh, meaning of that. Let's look now at who and what god is, is on the top of the Capitol Dome. And it looks like some type of uh, uh, American-U.S. Uh, hybrid. Of course, uh, she has stars adorning her and this eagle uh, and feathers all around. She has a uh, shield and a sword. Um, just to let you know that there is another goddess out there. And uh, she is Athena. She is always depicted with a shield and sword. Um, uh, she also uh, she is a god of war and wisdom. Um, she also is depicted with a usually with an owl, and uh, the uh, Roman counterpart is called Minerva. And so there is the owl of Minerva, which is understood. Uh, without uh, she doesn't have that owl on the Capitol dome, and therefore the owl is placed onto the Capitol grounds. And so you can see the two eyes here, the body and the two legs. And that owl, they love the owl because the owl sees at night and they love to operate in darkness. So here we are. This is the uh, uh, pyramid and that owl is at the apex of that pyramid, perching on top of that. And this is east-west uh, uh, version. There is the old Capitol uh, Washington Memorial uh, with the circumpunct, which is just the circle around that Capitol. Um, you look at here, this is uh, Lilith, and Lilith is a demon uh, goddess. She has owls as well as other creatures. Minerva, again, uh, Roman Minerva, and this is a sculpture in New York City. Uh, this is the, an Illuminati uh, pendant uh, that is attributed to the Illuminati, and you can see the owl. Of course, they uh, let us know that the owl represents wisdom. That is the exoteric meaning, and you can see this in the academic world where the wise owl uh, is all uh, of what we know that the owl re represents. Um, here is another god, Mars, uh, that is a sculpture at the Capitol building. So these gods of war, they love war, and they do this in the name of God. Now moving on to the owl. There is a Bohemian Grove that all of our dignitaries go to, and heads of state and heads of corporations. And you can see the owl with the lightning bolts in this season greeting. He wears the Bohemian Grove owl. And you're going to see what the Bohemian Grove is all about. Alex Jones, who is a conspiracy guy, actually blew this open and infiltrated and filmed these guys doing what's called the cremation of care. And that particular ritual. We'll get into that next, but you can see these who these are. These are old uh, cronies. It's a all-male club, and they do homosexual acts there, and they invite uh, people nearby from San Francisco uh, of the gay community that come up and service this. And believe me, <laughs> uh, it's pretty sick, the stories that are uh, out come out of that whole all male situation. This is the cremation of care that was filmed by Alex Jones. Now I have to warn you that uh, you we have somebody like Alex Jones that that infiltrates this. I believe that they want this information to come out. I don't believe Alex Jones. We can trust everybody that comes out with the conspiracy information, and they could be co -agit uh, agitators which uh, are expose certain aspects and that's how intelligence works they can expose certain aspects but not this expose all aspects and therefore there's something at the end of this that I want all of you to understand fully uh, which is really the end of this presentation and I believe really the message of this entire presentation the most important message so going on this cremation of care you see the owl this is actually not a stone owl but it's uh, been made up to look like this and so uh, they do this cremation of care that's exactly that cremating or destroying your care or your conscience. So when they do this ritual, they can do war and kill people and all of that without the without having a conscience. You can also see here that they wear uh, the Dagon hat, which is the fish god hat. All that pagan stuff looks like Catholicism, and it's one and the same. Moving on, and uh, just depictions of owls. 
Here's that cremation of care uh, ceremony back in the day. It's an old club. Look at him. He's dressed as a druid. No, or some type of a, a priest or monk, National Press Club and the Owl. They also have the Aladdin's Lamp there, and you saw that in Freemasonry. And they just happen to have an Aladdin's Lamp at the base of that owl at Bohemian Grove. There it is. Look at them now doing the sign of Horus and the, the um, uh, uh, sign of the Il Cornudo and the owl in the background. And there just so happens to be a small owl depiction. I'm not quite sure it's there, but I'll tell you, I uh, am not surprised that they do this kind of thing just to throw you off guard. Does it really look like an owl? Is it? Is it really on the dollar bill? Oh, I don't know. Is it part of decoration? Boy, they really throw us off in that sense. Now looking at this Bohemian Grove once again, Midsummer Encampment. That means that this gathering is, is at Midsummer and they do the Midsummer ritual just like Satanists do a Midsummer ritual and pagans do a Midsummer ritual. This is high satanic uh, holidays. Um, I'm going to throw this out there. It just so happened this past uh, July 20th, which was the opening of Batman, and uh, while Bohemian Grove was in session, this shooting happened. And uh, there were reports of, of people inside the theater uh, having some guy prop open the door from the inside. So there were more people involved in early reports. And now you have this lone crazy person. Looks like he's been involved with uh, ritual abuse and mind control and what have you. Totally delirious. I'm telling you um, uh, how fantastic as it may sound, this stuff is happening. This is um, uh, Bohemian Grove, and you can see My Little Pony. Why would they do be doing this? And so how fantastic is it to understand that this is what they indoctrinate us with? Please, uh, don't let the wall of your uh, mind uh, elude, uh, keep you from the truth. Trust the elite Bohemian Grove t-shirt. He's wearing an owl. This is real. It's happening. The indoctrination is out there. This is Michael Jackson with this uh, adornment. Looks like an owl mask. And of course you see the Eye of Lucifer here and people going in this ride. All kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of weird symbology going on and I can't interpret the, all of that. Here's Lady Gaga, 2009 uh, VMA Awards wearing the horned owl mask. And of course Harry Potter, Potter with his owl uh, the Justice, and you see the checkerboard, Masonic checkerboard. This god looks like uh, uh, scales and justice and the owl here, some type of a goddess working there. Now, showing you, Washington was involved with the urban planning of Washington, D.C., and therefore you see uh, the occult imagery. I mean, this stuff is very... Uh, not conducive uh, to uh, traffic patterns and what have you, but they want to put this in the streets in this fashion just to show uh, uh, use the, get their geometry in there. The pentagram may be broken at one point by not permitting the converging lines to touch. When used in black magic, the pentagram is called the sign of the cloven hoof or the footprint of the devil. That's Manly P. Hall, that Freemason. And here is a broken pentagram, and we see exactly that north to south with the down point at the White House. And here's that broken pentagram. That street does not go all the way through. And so you will go on the History Channel, and the Freemasons on that channel will tell you, well, it's not even a complete pentagram, so how can you say that it's satanic? Well, here it is. The star with uh, two points upward is also called the Goat of Mendez because the inverted star is the same shape as the goat's head. And you saw that in the Baphomet when the upright star turns uh, and the upper point falls to the bottom, it signifies the fall of the morning star. Okay, and there you have morning star, reference to Lucifer uh, falling. Now you have here uh, also a pyramid in the uh, street layout, and that pyramid, if you count blocks, the lodge itself is 13 blocks from the White House. The lodge is here, and you can see the lodge is in the alignment of the Washington Monument rather than the White House. So uh, interesting alignment there. It's a little bit off, but I'm showing you that there is a possible alignment there. The um, um, a penta uh, pentacle has within it the pentagon, and the pentagon is another revered uh, geometry. And so you see the pentagon. It just so happens one of the 
uh, bloodlines, papal bloodlines that I described to you, the Farnese family, which is heavily involved in Jesuitism. I believe they even started that whole idea. And so military uh, palace with military complex and that connection with Rome and that Pentagon. Here's Washington in the form of a Baphomet. Uh, this caused so much controversy that it was going to be outside the Capitol building, but they relegated it to the Smithsonian. And there is a similarity between this statue of Zeus, but I'll tell you a very odd similarity is why would you want to have a revered president naked uh, and then pointing upward and downward with the sword uh, as in war? And so a very similar aspects of as above, so below. You see this in the depiction underneath the Capitol Dome, the apotheosis of Washington. He is now a god in this form. And, of course, you have Uncle Sam with the star on top and uh, the Satan or the Goat of Mendez with the star on top.